I'm A. This winner can follow you for a long time, and you will get opportunities that you know about me. How um, this winner can affect the future. When someone has a, re a criminal record, it follows them along. With a simple background check, a future employer or employee or university admission center might be able to view your past criminal history and see that you, and see, and see that you have been convicted of a crime. No matter how serious this conviction might be, the employee or university might have zero tolerance rule in regards to employing or school of convicted criminals. This type of conviction will not simply just disappear from your criminal record. In fact, it will remain in your record for for all to see until further legal action is taken to remove it. It can devastate your entire future. A misdemeanor is a crime that will follow you for a long time and a future employer or university admission can view you, can view your criminal history and ha and can have your calling against that. Harm B. Young adults are losing lives by doing risk, risk by 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 risking their lives doing vandalism. Um young young Jays and Amber, they got struck by the train. Their ages were uh, 17 and 19. Sam O'Poli fell from a three-story high building. He was 16 years old. Ryan fell from uh, fell 15 meter meters on the box from a bridge. 17 years old. Andre Petko falling from the from the freeway overcrowding 30 to 40 feet above the roadway. 23. This is some, and there are more that have lost their lives in the grief. Part of the scene. Uh, due to the fact that there is so much between each travel that take our city look, it, it makes our city look bad and dirty. There's a difference between artwork and sloppy unnecessary writing and game tagging. But because of that, we have to spend millions of dollars to remove it. Chicago, Illinois budget, 6.6, 6.5 million in 2006 for graffiti removal and graffiti blasters. The city removal program. This is this is per capita cost of around two two dollars and thirty cents. Those millions of dollars to spend or on removing graffiti can be can be spent on things much more important. You're buying paints to write in and on walls, but you are also paying to get it removed. Inherently, A. There, there are some consequences for, for graffiti. Sentencing options for class C misdemeanor. In Illinois, anyone convicted of a class C misdemeanor can receive a sentence of 30 days in jail and are fined up to $1,500. A misdemeanor is a time that can be caused by legal graffiti and the consequences can be 30 days or or $1,500. Inherency fee. Uh, the thing that is causing the harm is, is that is that people think it's okay to just draw on any wall that they want. This is not a right. This is not a right that people have. And yes, people want to express themselves, but why would why would you risk getting caught in to waste your own money or spend pain if you know it's going to get you? The big problem is that there is much graffiti and a lot of it is just sloppy work. That what is so bad to ask the owner of building if it's okay to put, up, to put art work on the wall. It benefits everyone. One, you, you, get, you get to put your work legally. The owner doesn't have to worry about people uh, vandalizing the wall anymore. Uh, it makes the community look nicer. Uh, since people think it's okay to battle them once, the, then the government takes away our, our money to clean up the mess. When we could have been spending all the money on something more important. Sovereignty. Doing it only on permission once would give you less risk of getting in trouble by less risk. I mean, no more, no more spending uh, in jail, no spending time in jail, and no fines have to pay by ruining public places. Solvency. This graffiti is a school wall. If you, if anyone, if you allow people to just put to just put graffiti anywhere they want, then things like this will have, will 